Before you start your project, make sure you locate any underground lines, then find your property boundaries. Next, dig all your end and corner post. The end and corner post will act as a line of sight for the line post. Set all your end and corner post in concrete. Make sure to level the post and be sure to keep the bottom rail one to two inches off the ground. Here we are setting the post in concrete. Make sure you get the concrete around the entire post. Level the post. Watch the ground and adjust the bottom rail. Don't worry about the concrete. Clean it up as best you can. The concrete will come off the post. Once the ends and corners are in, measure the total distance between each post. For each line, divide the post evenly, keeping the post under 5 feet 8 inches. This is very important because the top and bottom rails for each panel are 6 foot. Kick, or with spray paint, mark lines where each post will go. You can run a string line, or if you have a good eye, spot each mark where the post needs to go. And repeat this step for your entire project. If you're going to sight the marks with your eye, just look down the post, look down the left and right side, Make sure the mark is in between each post and it will be good. After you've finished digging the holes, look at the ground. Not all yards are level, so you need to make sure the fence will flow with the ground. Find the high spots, set a post in the ground keeping the bottom rail one to two inches off the ground. Again, you can use a string or just sight by eye. It is okay to run a string line for the top of the fence or simply just side it by eye. Next, set your line post in the concrete. Make sure the posts are in line with the fence and the top is straight, following the grade and end post. After the posts are set, remove the concrete off the post. Make sure to remove the so concrete the same day because it will come off much easier. Place a steel insert inside the post your gate will hang on. Fill the inside of the post with concrete. Make sure to keep the concrete one inch beneath the bottom hole. It is a good idea to fill the post with dirt after they are set in the ground. Do not fill the post higher than the bottom hole. The dirt will keep water out of the post. Water will freeze in the winter and cause your post to expand and contract, causing your post to rise and sink. Keep the dirt below that line. After the project is complete, make sure everything looks good and in line. If everything is in line, then you'll be ready for the next step in two days. Give the concrete two days to cure. This concludes this tutorial for setting privacy vinyl post. For the rest of the tutorial, watch the next video under Privacy Vinyl Panels.